Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to solve a first order ordinary differential equation or simply ODE in MATLAB. So here we have a general form of a first order ODE. This form is very useful for engineering related problems since many systems can be represented by this form. So x is the dependent variable, x0 is the initial condition of x, t is an independent variable and f is a non-function dependent on t and x. So we are going to use the command od45, which is a variable step solver, to plot x versus t. We are going to solve this example in MATLAB. So here we have our ODE, our first order ODE, where t, which is the independent variable, must belong to the closed interval between 0 and 5, and the initial condition of the dependent variable x is equal 4. So now let's go to MATLAB. Okay, so before we dive into this example, if this content is helping you, please subscribe to the channel in the red button below and share this channel with your friends that also may benefit from this content. So now let's do our example. So whenever you have any doubt about any MATLAB command, I suggest you to go to the MathWorks website or use here the help command in the common window. So we're going to type help od45 to learn more about this command. So here we have important information about this command and here we have its structure which is od45 and we give three inputs. We have the od fun which it's a function defining the function f of this ODE. We have the t span which is the initial and final value of the independent variable t and we have y0 which is the initial condition of the dependent variable y. In our case, we are not using y, we are using x. So we are going to adapt this command accordingly. So the OD45 outputs t out, which is a vector containing the values of the independent variable t, and also a vector containing the values of the dependent variable y, in our case x. So let's copy this structure to our code. Okay, so now how we are going to solve this problem? Here I have added some clear and close commands and here we have our problem. So first we are going to define these three inputs here. First we are going to define the function f, define the function f. We are going to use the inline function command. So we have equal f equals we use the add symbol, we have the independent and dependent variable, and here we simply put our, let me change here the keyboard, we simply put our function. All right, so now we have defined the function f, and we have defined, we need to define the t span. So the t span in our case, it's t span equals, it starts in zero and ends in five. Now we have to define the x initial condition. In our case, we're going to name it x zero equals four. Okay, so now we have to call the od45 command. So let's call the, the vector out t and this one x. Our od fun is simply f, t span is t span, and y0 in this in our case it's x0. Okay, so now let's run this code and we can see that the OD4045 commands generated for us the vector x and the vector t. So now we need simply to plot the result. So let's plot t versus ver x versus t by this command. So let's run here this code and we can see our response. We can add some labels. So x label, we're going to put t 
and y label we are going to put we can simply run these two commands and our figure will be labeled so here we have the response of the dependent variable x relative to the independent variable t an interesting additional information is that you can also simulate this ODE considering a variety of initial conditions. So in this case, we have considered only one initial condition. But it can be useful in practical applications to analyze the ODE response using a variety of initial conditions. So here, we just have to make a sliding modification to this code. Let's say we want to consider the initial conditions minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, until 5. So let's make our x0 equal a vector that goes from minus 5 to 5, incrementing 1, so minus 4, 5, minus 4. And then by making the simple modification, when we run our code, we are going to have the response of this ODE, considering all the initial condition. So here we have minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And this can be helpful when analyzing the response, the, the how the response varies relative to the initial condition. The MATLAB code that we have just did, it's available in the description section. So that's it for this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and share with a friend. And if you have any question, please leave this question in the comment section below. See you in the next video.